and you say that you're Father Ray. Okay, come here. Your turn. I'm Zoe. And I'm Farmer Red. <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. Mm -hmm. So good morning, everybody. Let's do our names right. Right. I'm Farmer Red, and you're Zoe. Okay. Good morning, everybody. I am Zoe at Chestnut Hills Farmstead, and, and this. I, and I am. Good morning, y'all. We hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It is beautiful out here, and we are going to feed animals, and then we're going to head home, and we are going to try a new recipe today. We are going to try making spaghetti pie. So every week, I meal plan, and I look at the different meats we have in our freezer, and then I planned meals around those. And I said, Nick, what is something you would like? And he said, this is so random. But growing up, I had something like a spaghetti pizza pie. And after a little bit of research and all, we figured out it is a spaghetti pie that is just amped up a little bit with some pizza flavors. So we're gonna try and make one. I've never made it. So it's gonna be a first time for you and for me. But the first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna get all the animals fed and we're gonna give out some treats because we haven't done treats in a little while. So you guys are gonna come with us as we hang out with the animals for a few minutes and we're gonna feed them some treats, feed them their regular food and just get everybody set up for the day. Well, here's everybody. Good morning, Reese Cup. And there's Chester. <laughs> What, baby? This is Hot Wheels. It is Hot Wheels. Come on. You give me it. Probably. Or Daddy oh. give me it. Yes, Jingle. Mom, look at Johnny Johnny's horn. I know. Johnny Johnny wants you to give him a treat. And his is really, really Everybody's sweet. hitting me with horns this really, morning. Really. Come wow. in. Come in. Everybody's hungry. Jingle said he would love one. Here, Jingle. Gypsy. Wait. Gypsy. Wait, is Oliver out? Oliver's gone. He what? lives at his new house. Look at them little babies. So, Oliver is at his unhit on the There's them little new babies. So, Here they come. Look, Rhett. Oliver, he hit me with his horns. He don't no more. He don't live here no more. I, Jingle does, and Jingle is loving eating all these treats, isn't he? I love his horns. You do? Yeah. They're and beautiful. I love his, and I love his color. Hey, but this is not Bill. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. I do too. Who looks like him? Um. Noel. <gasps> well, those sweet little babies. There they are. Come on, let's see if anybody else would like one. Look who found us. There's Heidi. Yes, Heidi. Heidi, Heidi. came and found us. A little old Chester. Chester ain't so little no more. All right, so all little goaties got some treats, eating their breakfast, 
Everybody's taken care of, so now we're headed down to the baby pigs. Well, here we are with the little piggies. And what they want is corn. My problem is, is my corn is on this truck and that blue barrel completely full. And guess what I don't have? I don't have keys to the tractor because my car's in the shop. My keys to the tractor are in my car in the shop. Next at work. So I don't have keys to the tractor. So we about to have to put some manpower to use. And we're gonna have to manhandle both these barrels out, two different places on the farm, and feed these pigs the corn that they're waiting on. Let's get to work. That barrel weighs, I think, around 200 pounds. It did not come off the trailer like I was, I mean, off the truck like I was hoping it would. And naturally, I knocked it over. So, with the help of Farmer Rhett, we got that thing back up and got them piggies their corn. So, let's go. We've got an even bigger barrel that we got to shimmy off. For the big pigs so we're headed around there let's feed them and feed the donkeys real quick hey farmer rat can you feed pixie dixie for me she's waiting you feed her and i'm gonna go get some treats yeah. and you got and can i do one but sure. i'm gonna be i'm gonna be really still you are You're a big boy now. You're a big boy now. Make sure you pour it in there good later. Okay. All right, here, let me help you. I can do it. Right. You can let go. You okay. can let go. Okay, keep going. I can do it, Bob Mitchell. Okay, you got it. I know that I'm big. That'd be good. I know that I'm a big, big, big boy. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Put this scoop back in there. Let's set, you want me to set it up? You gonna feed them? Yeah. Okay, you go feed them. Okay. This thing is really heavy. Some ear scratchings. No. Alright, y'all ready for some corn? Come on. Come on, let's get some corn. Oh, 
All right, piggies have corn. Now I've got to try to work this big old sucker. It's about 350 pounds to the edge, lay down, shimmy it off and keep it upright. Because if not, we're gonna be in a real pickle. That's their food. They need their food. So, fingers crossed, here we go. Did you see that thing rocking? My heart stopped about a thousand times in that 10 seconds because as I had it up and was moving it to the edge, it hit that lip where the tailgate meets and it started rocking forward. I knew we was about to go over and it was gonna bust open and all that feed was about to hit the ground. Whew. But we got it. Here it is, it's upright. Now let's feed some pigs. I know it's probably loud, but you know, being a four year old and having to go work at the farm every day can be a little daunting. You know, it can be exhausting to some kids, but this is why we make him do what he does because his imagination is just wide open all the time. He doesn't have other kids to play with during the day. We can if we wanted to, but we have stuff going on. So he makes his own imagination and his own little world right here on the farm. What you doing? What you got? Rocks. Rocks? Yeah. This one is chewed on. It's chewed on? Yeah. Someone chewed on it. Who chewed on it? I don't know. Boys, there's Holly. And, 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 and the donkey pen. You found the rocks in the donkey pasture? In the donkey pen. In the donkey pen, okay. One. Two. 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 Three. Three. Four. You found four eggs. No, one, two, three, four. I don't think that's a duck egg. No, it's Hold it up and show them. No, I don't think that's a duck egg. No, it's a goose egg. It's a goose egg. And we got these some are, duck eggs. These are duck eggs. So what these do all are duck eggs. Yeah. So what do you, look at me. What are you wanting to do with these? Take them home and hatch them. You're gonna take them home and hatch them. Yes. Okay, we're gonna take them home and see if we can hack our, hatch our first goose of the season. Yeah, we got, got all our farm chores done. Let's go home and make something and eat. Okay, everybody, so we're home from the farm. We got all the animals are fed, everything's taken care of. So now it is time to start planning for dinner. What we're making today is spaghetti pizza pie. Nick was telling me that this is a dish that he had a lot growing up and he loved it, but he hasn't had it since childhood. And over the years, he's asked his mom for the recipe and she's given him the way she recalled it. And finally we sat down and took a little time and looked it up and this is the one that he had found that was the closest. So we're gonna make this with you guys today. And so first, let's just kind of talk about what the ingredients are. First thing first, you need a pound of spaghetti noodles and you want to cook them al dente and then do not rinse them because you want them to kind of stick together. 
You're also going to need a fourth cup of milk. You're going to need two eggs. You want eight ounces of mushrooms that you're going to chop. We also want, typically people use a whole bell pepper. I have opted to do a half bell pepper, half onion that we are going to saute. These are some I had left over in the freezer that I had already chopped, but you want to chop you a bell pepper. You want altogether 16 ounces of mozzarella. This will be um, split in half. And typically it calls for a pound of pork or Italian sausage, but that can be a little spicy for some. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a half of hamburger ground beef and a half pork, and I'll just go ahead and brown both and put the rest aside for another recipe later. And then you're also gonna want a jar of spaghetti sauce. I'm using the roasted garlic Parmesan and then you're gonna salt to taste. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap my fingers and when I come back, my hamburger and sausage is gonna be ground and ready to use. My noodles are gonna be boiled. My bell pepper and onion is going to be sauteed. My mushrooms are gonna be chopped. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so we have our meat browned. We have vegetables sauteed. We have noodles boiled, mushrooms cut up. And what I've done is I have taken a fourth cup of milk and I have beat two eggs into it. So we have 16 ounce bag of mozzarella cheese. And what we're gonna do is into our noodles, this large bowl of noodles, we're gonna put half of the bag Half the bag. We're gonna put our egg mixture. We're going to put all of our sauteed peppers and onions. We're going to put half of our meat mixture. And we're going to put half of our chopped up mushrooms. We're going to give that a good so I don't know if you guys know but when you don't rinse your spaghetti noodles it allows the starch that's on the outside of the noodles to stay attached and that allows things to stick to it when you rinse your noodles your noodles aren't gonna stick but your tomato sauce is not gonna stick all right, got it all mixed up. Okay, so now it is time to get this mixture into our casserole dish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spray that, and I'm gonna turn the camera down so you can kinda watch me as I get it into the bowl, and we're gonna press it down to make the crust. So, I have a prepared dish. It's been sprayed with nonstick spray, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take all this, it's a lot, it is a lot, and we're gonna put it in this pan. So basically what we've done is we have taken our spaghetti without sauce, and we are gonna put it in here, and we're going to bake it. We're gonna bake it and make it a crust for our spaghetti pizza. So I'm trying to push it down to get as much room condensed in there because when it cooks it's going to crisp up a little bit and then we're going to put some sauce on it and some pizza toppings 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it in the oven for about 20 minutes until it becomes like a solid form. Because remember, it does have egg in it, so the egg congealed with the noodles is going to solidify it some. So we're gonna put it in for about 20 minutes and we'll check it then and I'll come back right back to you. All right, it's out of the oven. It took 20 minutes and it is set. There's no jiggle to it. And now what we will do is we are gonna to top it with spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce. Then we will put the rest of our meat. We will put mushrooms and then I'm gonna add pepperoni to make it more pizza-like and then we'll top it with the rest of the cheese and then we'll bake it for another 20 minutes and let it become a pizza casserole. and brown on top. So let's put this in the oven and we'll check on it in about 15 to 20 minutes and I'll show you our finished product. So are we going, are we doing a lot? No, I'm about to show you I see our the, dinner. I already see the pizza. Whoa, look at that. What do you think about that? It looks delicious. What does it smell like? Pizza! It sure does. All right, guys, so we made spaghetti pizza pie, and I hope you guys um, give me a thumbs up if you, if you liked it. If you have any suggestions, leave me some comments below. Any ideas you might have, any memories this might have brought back to you, I'd like to hear them because this is the kind of stuff that I like to do is to help bring back memories of childhood. So... Leave me some comments. Let's interact a little bit. And maybe you can catch me on a live when I do In the Kitchen with Zoe. We do those live periodically. So just follow along and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching, Jenna.